sneak in the council meeting for September, I think. Yeah. Um, but we know we won't have financials yet, so we know that. But we'll take care of them in October. But we have a bunch of people traveling, so we want to catch everybody. And then September 15th is God's Work, Our Hand Sunday, the ELCA Big Shindig um, Sunday. We will have worship here as usual, and then go picnic at Bruce Park over near our new home at University Boulevard. So we will get all of that together. And over on the, the bench over here, I have... <coughs> I have two boxes of thank you cards and I brought them a week early so I'd like everybody to write thank you notes to Resurrection to any of the people there or just to the church in general and I brought them this week so if you need to take them home and think about it grab a few and bring them back next week when we we will write some more and then we will give that to them on the 8th so or if you just need a thank you card for someone else, go for it. <laughs> we have plenty. All right. Um, so my next question then, Shirley, what should I ask people this week? Like, Shirley would like to know where you all have seen God this week. <laughs> who has who has a God sighting? Okay. So Julie was saying that it's, it was pouring out when they left home, and she doesn't like having umbrellas. And so she didn't have an umbrella, but by the time she got here, she didn't need one because it had stopped raining here. It was not raining at my house this morning, and then it was pouring here. <laughs> so yeah, that is good news. Anybody else have some God sightings and good news? Your grandchild again? Is he still joyful? And Oh. He's 10 months old and he's walking all around holding on and, you know, he can play this game. He goes back and forth between me and my husband. It's just, you know, he crawls over and he gets down and he crawls over and he gets up. And it's just so joyful. It's definitely That is joyful. They're so cute. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Well, if you can say your grandchild, I'll talk about Betty then. Okay. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> She was in a mood, like, to play, and she was so cute, like, the little stands where they crouch down in the front, and, and, and she just played and played and played, and I laughed at her because she's silly, and then if anybody ever watches or is with me when I play with her, I have slippers on my feet, and I will, like, put my feet underneath her, and she growls and bites at them, you know? Never really hurts, but she sounds like she's going to eat me alive, but it makes me laugh. <laughs> Where else have you seen God this week? Help. Okay. My car was going crazy. Your car was going crazy. There was like so many lights. It looked like Christmas in the oh Out of nowhere. I mean, I get it to So anyways, I made it home safely, so that was a blessing. Good. And I was praying a whole drive home from work when it happened. And then Trin took a look at it, and he was like, this is a big problem. This isn't a small husband fix it problem. <laughs> so I took it the next day to the shop, you know, the mechanic. And the whole thing is probably stressful, right? Yes. And so I order a lift to take me back home because I they don't know if they're gonna even have it done that day. And I look at my phone and I'm like, does that say hurry? It was one of my friends that I know. Wow. Come, she came Coming in on the Uber? Yeah. Wow. Well, on the lift. Well, lift. But, Sorry. But same note. So. The deliverable car? <laughs> so, I'm, I'm thinking everything's great. So she goes and drops me off. And as soon as she pulls away. They were ready. I'm like, wait a second. I left my phone in her car. Oh, no. You should. Oh, no. You left your phone. This is the best thing ever. But. She was able to come right back and, and bring me my phone. I don't know if somebody else was driving me, if that would have been the situation. Ah. You never know. So it's so, good that you know Lyft drivers mm. that can carry you. And then I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to be the most expensive, awful thing. Mm -hmm. It was just the battery. Oh, good. So Christmas light dashboard, which oh, is 
paints a picture, yeah. is all gone because yeah. you needed a new battery, which so doesn't say, cost a lot of money. It was a day for comparatively. Day. And then you go to work that day. So nice. all, it just like all turned into just a really nice day. Well, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> What else we got? Anybody? We did Bible study again this week, and it was lovely. We have so much fun and such good discussions. So, hope all of you join us at Grounds of Grace, Thursday morning at 9 o'clock. What time? 9 o'clock. That's the hour before 10 o'clock. It is. Yes. Um, there was somewhere where it did say 9.30. I, I I saw that too, and I was like, but every but when I looked, everything said nine. Okay. So yeah, it was on the face space. With that, we are on week five of five of the bread discourse in the Gospel of John, which means that we're going to hear about bread again. And what I would like us, what I'm also thinking about is after for fellowship, we really I have these little toasts over there. And we have some spread to put on it. And we are going to toast our food ministries and give a special blessing for them at our fellowship so that they grow and continue to bless people. Um, so that's what, that, that's what the toast is for. <sighs> Frank, you look unimpressed with my toast. <laughs> we start five weeks of wine. We will start. Five, we, no, we do three. Oh, yeah. three. So Judy, yes. Judy wants to know if the next five weeks can be about wine, and I yes. And then we'll really toast. Then we shall, because by then we will be in our new place, mm -hmm. and then we'll have one great big celebration with both with bread and wine. We'll call it communion. <laughs> It'll be so amazing. <laughs> Great. On that note, let's sing a few notes. Please rise if you are able to join us on our opening song.
one God, the God of manna, the God of miracles, and the God of mercy. Amen. Amen. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the help of your people, turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit that we may confess our sin, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Drawn to Christ, seeking God's abundance, let us confess our sin. God, our provider, help us. It is hard to believe there is enough to share. We question your ways when they differ from the ways of the world in which we live. We turn to our own understanding rather than trusting in you. We take offense at your teachings and your ways. Turn us again to you. Where else can we turn? Share with us the words of eternal life and feed us for the life in the world. Amen. Beloved people of God, in Jesus, the manna from heaven, you are fed and nourished. By Jesus, the worker of miracles, there is always more than enough. And through Jesus, the bread of life, you are shown God's mercy. You are forgiven and loved into abundant life. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you.
Holy God, your word feeds your people with life that is eternal. Direct our choices and preserve us in your truth, that, renouncing what is false and evil, we may live in you, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Congregation may be seated as we hear God's word. supplication 
To that end, keep alert and always persevere in application of all the saints. Okay. okay. Pray also for me. I will. I always I know. I mean. <laughs> so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am ambassador in chains. Hmm. Pray that I may declare it boldly. 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 I believe I'm portraying boldly yes. the word of God. As you, and must that's speak. As you must speak. As I must speak. Yes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Please stand for the gospel acclamation. <laughs> until the Garden of Gethsemane on Monday, Thursday evening. And so in this gospel in particular, Jesus seems to know what is going to happen ahead of time, and now he is going to make sure that they know who he is. This is just one of the first, I am the bread of life, I am the true vine, I am the shepherd, all of those are in the Gospel of John, where Jesus lays out who he is and where he has come to us from. 
that it is a gift from the Father, and the Spirit is always with him. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Eat my flesh. So last week we talked a little bit about how um, bread was the sustainer of life and wine as well for Judy. You just need wine. <laughs> but these were common, ordinary things that are at every meal in every culture across our world still today. So if we are the disciples and Jesus then is going to say, I'm bread, I am common in every home. I am, I am the true bread of life. I am the living bread of life. Now, he says, eat it, eat it, eat the flesh, drink the blood. And a few of them are like, I'm out. Now, it could be that they're the ones that were over and wanted to make him king during the feeding of the 5,000, and he escaped to the other side, and they might still be following him in their little cotillion across the, across the lake. But now, it's not just bread. He's talking about flesh. And so they leave. And sometimes, you know, I think that I probably might have taken a break too. Sometimes I think of taking a break now. Sometimes I think that, oh, this all gets to be so much. This life that God has called us all to, it's hard. It's hard to stand for justice. It's hard to always be watching for someone who is in need and, and, and pray. I read an article yesterday on Facebook about um, what are the things you, you wish you knew about, or your pastor wishes you knew about them. <laughs> um, pray for us is what it is. Because especially now, the world is changing so fast. And, and church attendance is down, but service is up. And so again, St. Matthew's, I say you are ahead of the curve, but let's stay there. Let's stay ahead of that curve and, and serve with justice, with mercy, with grace, with the, Lord's at our, with the Lord at our side. That we always remember... Peter's words, Lord, to whom can we go? So when we are feeling that we just want to break, or I'm feeling like I just, I just want to not pay attention to what the, is happening in the world, I know that the only way I can do it is with God by my side, working with the Holy Spirit, calling on God to guide me, lead me, Feed me, nourish me, and send me back here where we joyfully sing. That Kyrie and glory to God, I can't help but smile. I can't help but sway with all of the joy and exuberance that I get fed even in those words. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people. Lord, we need some peace. I need peace in my heart and I need it in the world. And that is why Paul wrote to the Ephesians. Pay attention was Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Pay attention to who you are and know you are loved. And by the way, this is the end of Ephesians. Um, by the way, you're going to need some help. So put on the armor of God. Make sure that you have the tools you need to be a follower of Christ. I need to pray every day. I need to study my scripture. I need to come to worship. I need communion. I need to remember my baptism and what I am called to and whose I am. And then I must speak. And that is what God's work our hands is all about, that we not just speak with our words, but we show the world God's love through the work that we do for the other. We are always, as Jesus was, working for the other so that no one is left without. 
So, like Bob, I will pray for all of us, right? It's not just Bob today. And I will carry the Spirit with me. I will pray for us. I, will, I want you to pray for me. Strength, guidance, listening ears. So that when we boldly go into the world, in about a half hour, we go fed and nourished, knowing there's no one else we can go to but Jesus Christ, who is the true bread of heaven, giving us eternal life. Who can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that Jesus is the Holy One of God. So we will eat this bread and drink this cup and taste and see that the Lord is good to be fed, nourished, and loved. Amen. You may remain seated.
calling on the spirit of wisdom to guide our hearts and our minds. Let us pray for the church, the world, and all in need. God of love and wisdom, help us to understand your will for St. Matthew's and all churches. Be with us as we experience transition, redevelopment, and the exciting yet frightening path of newness. May your wisdom be found in every step. Merciful God, receive our, our prayer. prayer. Creator God, we and all creation are sustained by your word. We pray for all who remind us of our interconnectedness and all of all living things. Prosper the word of conservation organizations, ELCA advocacy, and local climate justice advocates. Merciful God, receive our prayer. God of wisdom, as our nation navigates another election cycle, guide our leaders to act just for the sake of the world. Bring about fruitful conversations among your people and bring about change where you see fit. Sustain all who serve on juries in their deliberations. Merciful God, receive our prayers. God of restoration, bring healing and wholeness to all who cry to you. Where pain is sharp, bring a sense of comfort and relief. Where grief runs deep, Bring your tender mercy. Care for those in our hearts, especially those whose names we offer now. Gather what has been sown among us, 
and strengthen us in this meal. Make us be what we receive here, your body for the life of the world. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we join we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Do this in remembrance of me. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Come, all are welcome at the table. bread of life given for you. This is the bread of life given for you. This is the bread of life given for you. This is the bread of life given for you. This is the bread of heaven given for you. 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 The bread of heaven given for you.
Jesus, bread of life, we have received from your table more than we could ever ask. As you have nourished us with this meal, now strengthen us to love the world with our own life. In the your name we pray. Amen. Receive this. Huh, what? <laughs> Go forward. <laughs> I had his blessing the baby kind of stuff. Oh, oops, oops, I got oops. that out. Sorry. That's okay. I was like, what I happened? Show it. <laughs> it was a long blessing. It was, yeah. <laughs> it was lovely, though. Enormous amount is what our thank you said. The blessing of God who provides for us feeds us and journeys with us, be upon you now and forever. Amen. Amen. We sing together, and then we shall toast okay. to our ministry. Say it like I'm in a suit. No, God, I'm toasting a boat with a goat. Okie doke. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,